Greetings gamers and uh, computer enthusiasts alike. Um, a few weeks ago, probably well last month, I, I came up with a tutorial on uh, converting videos and enabling those video files that you recorded from your gameplay to work within Sony Vegas because I use the Roxio HD Pro game capture device. I, the, the software comes with it only records in M2TS or AVCHD. Okay, now the problem with that is you've, you're stuck to using the actual capture card software and you know the editing software that comes with it, with it, which is not very reliable. The software's not that good, in, in my honest opinion. I love the way the device captures, the, the gameplay is really nice and crisp, you know, good picture, plenty of colour, there's not much colour loss by the, to my eyes anyway. But the actual software is very, very bad. This is about converting video files that that records into a format that Vegas Pro can understand and in the shortest, fastest time possible. So what, what we do is, uh, this, this is a program that I found. If you, you want to Google this, vid, Video Redo TV Suite, and it is amazing. Just watch what it does. I'm going to convert a file now. Now, you know, ready. There's, this this folder here, is, this is like, I mean, how many parts of this I've, I've filmed? Part 19, but I had to stop doing it because uh, we, the, the game turned my PlayStation off twice in one day, and that's the problem with Fight Night Champion, but that, that's another story. But let's let's convert this. Now you can see all these. See our AVCHD video? Yeah? Now let's open that one. That That's the, the raw capture from the Roxio. And then what you get is this screen, but we don't want to. Try. I'm not even going to go into because there's no point. You know that would be for another video. I have to have a look at into this program myself to see what it can actually do. But what I'm using it for is this. You click on Save As, and it says there are no cuts defined. Do you wish? Re, do you wish remux the entire input file? Now I don't know what that means, but uh, let's press Yes anyway. But let's. Um, Let's save it back in that original folder. Where are we? Fight Night Champion. Right, let's save it there. Now, by default, it's H.264 Transport Stream TS. Now, I think you f people are familiar with that format. But if I convert this now, it'll only convert the video and when, I mean, it'll convert the video and audio, but when you try to use it within Sony Vegas, you'll only get the video. But there's a way around it. You go to Options. Keep all this the same. Now you go to the audio section. This is MPEG Layer 2 or AAC. You must check this one. MPEG Layer 2. Take your bit rate to around about 320 so it's the same. No compression. You know, because you want your file to not suffer in any way graphically, graphically or audio, audio. You know, you want it to be the same. Especially if you have to have decent quality like, like me. You click OK. Now let's, it's going to save it in that same folder. Okay. Now notice I'm doing it on the fly here. Just watch how fast this converts. I mean, I've got a, a dual core two processor, which you know is it's not a new processor by any means. If you had an i7, imagine how fast this would work. You know, while I'm talking away, it's converting that file, and you, I, I can virtually guarantee that that file is exactly the same quality as the original. This is something that I've been I've been using the Zillasoft video converter to convert videos to so they work within Sony Vegas, but this is actually better. So anybody out there struggling, do you want to edit the gameplays and they're so used to Sony Vegas, then use this program to convert the the files. Look how quick it's doing it. The only thing is when I, with this recorder I'm using this screen recorder, it doesn't record Windows 7 sound. So you won't hear any sounds when I show you it working in Sony Vegas. Output complete. Yeah, no errors or nothing. Brilliant. Now this bit rate here is round about the bit rate of the, of the original file. Come out of it. Let's find the folder. Um, where are we? That's the one. See? There's the, there's the original. 1.46. 1.46. The MPEG-2 TS video. Okay, 
Now, if I right click that, just give it a chance to load in. Oh, this is, I mean, I, I really want to help people who really want to use Sony Vegas and find that they can't when they bought the, the bloody Roxy or, you know. Right, as you can see, watch it build, it's building the peaks, so, but I just need, I will show you that. I mean, if I play the, the file, you won't hear it because my recorder, like I say, I've not set it, so it records Windows 7 sound as well. But there you can see the, the audio graph. I mean, that, you wouldn't even have that channel there if it had only imported the video. But as you can see, it's and, it, and the audio, all the audio is in, in sync with the video as well. And that's something I've had a, I've had a problem with when I've been doing conversions in the past. But, uh, see, there's me. Did I win that fight? Hang on. Yes. Anyway, um, and that's another thing. Disable resample. It's the first thing I first, first thing I do when I put a video on this track. But that just goes to show that if you use that program I've just shown you, let's go back to it. It's a video redo TV switch. It is probably it's just the same. And then you can do what the hell you want to do. I hope that's helped somebody um, and uh, but trust me if you want to get your get your game captures working within Sony Vegas then go buy this route okay uh, I think that's all I think I've covered everything and uh, well catch you later boys and girls I uh, hope you enjoyed that As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Penby66, signing off.